everyone i would like to wish you guys a special happy 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 diwali 2019 and a very special thank you to trini cooking with natasha for featuring me on her page today my name is deepa yankaran and i specialize in indian wear draping here in trinidad and tobago and today i'll be showing you guys how to drape pisar so i hope you all like this video enjoy bye hi okay guys so the first thing you want to do is find the simple end of your sari the other end usually is a little bit more worked up sometimes they have beads or tassels once you have located the simple end of your sari tuck it into your skirt and right around your waist and what you can do is secure it with pins right around your waist or you can also tie your sari slip very tight so that your sari does not unravel. The next step, stay around maybe 3 inches away from your hips and start making your pleats. In a little while, I'm going to show you guys a close-up version of how I am actually creating these pleats. It looks a little bit difficult, but you just need to practice a little. Once your pleats are completed, make sure that they are all the same length. So you can hold them and just shake them out a little bit and they usually fall into place then tuck it into your skirt on both sides of your sari the loose ends what you want to do is pull the excess fabric a little over your hips and slightly down towards the middle of your sari where you would have secured your pleats you want to do the same thing on the other end i'm just getting my pillow out of the way just so that i can fix the other end the idea here is to create a v shape this would actually give you a really nice shape And of course secure it with a pin this is how I made my pleats you want to hold your fabric between your three fingers and thumb And you will notice that I every time I flip my fabric over my three fingers I am securing both loose ends with my thumb and my little finger so you just want to do this back and forth until you you have used up all your fabric pleat the loose end of your sari this is called the palu and pull it over your left shoulder when it's secured, you can open your pleats out. And of course, you can secure this with a pin. This is the most common um, way to drape your sari. And this is the first method that I'm showing you today. And it's the most traditional way. This is another way you can wear your sari. You can leave your palu open. I love this vision. It looks really elegant. And there we go, guys. Two beautiful ways you can wear your sari. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 